I was a moron for 16 years. I was such a lousy agent. I'm absolutely, completely convinced that I'm the reason there's compliance. I struggled and struggled and struggled. And I lucked out. I didn't have the courage to change. The opposite of courage is not cowardice. The opposite of courage is conformity. It's the unwillingness to do what you need to do to be successful. I had John Savage and Ben Feldman and Roger Zener and Tom Wolf teaching me how to do it. And by the time I got to that door back there, I was so afraid that if I tried anything that they were talking about, I wouldn't make that $35,000 a year I was making. By the time I sat my butt down in that car and started to drive away, I was absolutely thoroughly convinced that I wouldn't be able to do it. And that's what you're going to do. I hope not. Because everything that they taught me is exactly what I do now. Everything. I run 30 to 50 appointments a week. I'm at 400 and about 50 apps for the year so far. Uh, last year I did 711 apps for the year. The year before that, 900 and something. I only work six or seven months a year because the other five or six months I'm traveling around the country and around the world now giving these talks, trying to share what I've learned. So here's what we're going to start, where the rubber meets the road. How can we get in front of more people? I call them elevator talks or conversation starters. I have at least 75 of them. They're on my CDs and stuff. I have 11 minutes and 21 seconds. This is going to be the fastest 11 minutes you've ever been through. But watch, I'll show you how you get a whole bunch of appointments. The walk up to people, anywhere, anytime. I fly Delta. Almost everybody that works in a Delta club has all their money with me. Because I ask them, I say, let me ask you something. Do you believe there's going to be another financial catastrophe like there was in 2007 and 8? Just yes or no. Why the just yes or no? Because I don't want to hear whether they like George Bush or hated uh, Barack Obama or whether they like Hillary Clinton or they like Donald Trump. I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. So do you believe there's going to be another one of these catastrophes? They always say yes. Do you want to happen this time what happened the last time? Please, the words are magic. I didn't ask, did you lose any money? Because what they'll say to me is, well, I already made it back, now I'm stuck. See, every question, if done correctly, it allows you to create intimacy without getting personal. Do you understand? You want to build a relationship right away because you're so interesting to talk to, and it's not because you're telling them anything, it's because you're asking them spectacular stuff.